this is Sart with Mythic MTG Tech doing a Deck Tech Part 3 of our 32 part series. This is a Temer, who knows how the hell to pronounce that, this is what happens when Wizard makes up words. Deck Tech, it's blue, green, and red with partner commanders and an awesome theme. By the way, I was in Vegas, lots of stuff on Twitter and Instagram there. It was awesome, more videos coming out about that soon. Number two in the deck tech was Demir, and number one was Mono White. We're on to number three here. The commanders here have a really cool theme. Number one, he lets you draw extra cards when your opponent casts the second spell on a turn. And works really, really well with a commander that gives you mana for each card you've drawn this turn. Now, when you combine this with things like the Puzzle Box or Windfall, it can be giant freaking numbers of cards. And this is an over-the-top, we're going to cast Crazy Eldrazi and do crazy stuff deck. Here's the full deck. It's very reasonably priced. We're looking at about $450. It has some customization to it, but is in a reasonable mid-range budget area. It has lots and lots of wheels, lots of ways to cycle through cards again and again and again. Discard your whole deck, put out awesome creatures. Wheel of Fate, Wheel of Fortune, Winds of Change, Windfall, Reforge the Soul, Molten Psyche, Tolarian Winds, awesome stuff going on here. You also have ways to gain massive amounts of life and massive amounts of mana based on what's going on with the deck. The Umbral Mantle is one of those cards I really like here. The ability to untap a creature. The untap is really about using your mana from your commander because all those extra cards gives you extra mana. Wing Cons here. We're going over the top. Emrakul, Kozilek, Ulamog, just putting down the giant creatures and crushing people with them. This is one of those decks where you go, thud, and then people back off and they either deal with you or you win. It goes over the top with some crazy spells like Insurrection and Void Winnower, one of my absolute favorite EDH cards that will get rid of all of your friends. And Psychonic Rift, what a great instant to put a bunch of extra mana into. It's not all solitaire. There are some interactive cards here. Fateful Showdown and Wild Ricochet give you some interaction. That's one of the things that I like about the particular decks that Corey is doing is that they're not just about doing something crazy yourself, but they have some interaction on the other side. A lot of graveyard stuff going on here too. Treasure Crew should be in almost every blue EDH deck, but is perfect in this deck. The Gear Hulk, one of my favorite cards, and it's going to be in my upcoming financial video. Yes, another financial video coming later this week. Gear Hulk, awesome card. Passed in Flames, Ooh, so good. Better than Yagmas will when it comes to Commander, especially on the casual side. But even on the competitive side, amazing card. There's some awesome budget things in here. Kerninos, $8. How did such a good card get down to $8? I have no idea. Great competitive modern card and awesome EDH card. Prosperity, Far Wandering, just really good cards. Super cheap. Pick those up, throw those into some EDH decks. Planeswalkers in here. We've got Chandra and we've got Kiora. They both fit really well with what's going on in this deck. Chandra the Flame Caller is just wonderful in EDH. If I was going to power up this deck, I would cut a few of the creatures and add a little more spell selection and a little more ramp. If your commander gets shut out of the game, it's a little bit tough to cast some of the higher end stuff here. This is definitely a fun casual deck. If you want to make it competitive though, add your Sylvan Library, add your Ponders, add your Cultivate, cut out the creatures a little bit and hone it to go over the top super fast with or without your commander. Thank you everybody who's out there supporting the channel. Thank you to chess.com, main phase, uh, MTG, and all the awesome people I saw out at Vegas. It was just wonderful. Look forward to the rest of this series with Main Phase MTG. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please support it over on Patreon. I've got awesome stuff coming. If you want to get a hold of me, definitely email me. I'm happy to chat with any fans of the channel. Until next time.
Choose your cards wisely.